100% Chelsea, Watford 4, Chelsea 1. Chuck, mm. what the fuck happened? I uh, know. I mean, there's an information point there, and I'd love to know some answers from that fucking place because honestly, that was dreadful. It's the first time Watford have beaten us since 1999. Well, that just goes to show, doesn't it? And we, when we played the reverse fixture at our place, it was a great game. Now, they did show up a little bit, and then we took control. And I thought, well, we'd bring some of that back into this game, but no, 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 no. I got a pinpoint back here, okay. How, my friend, do you get sent off with two yellows in 30 minutes? Control yourself. It's the basics, the basics. And uh, what did you think of the people that were singing at him though when he went off? Right, I, I'm going to admit to this freely now. I did, I did chant, and in hindsight, I look back on that and I think it was wrong because it was a heat at the moment, and I've been so he's been stressing me out a lot this season, especially in 2018. He's been stressing me right out, and honestly, I just, I just snapped, and I think, I think, yeah, exactly. I, I just snapped honestly, and I chanted, and I, I, I feel like I shouldn't. Have done, I don't. I, I, if I you shouldn't go have back, it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it again. No way. But my God, I'd slag him off till the cows come home because oh, I, it, it, you, you can't. There's no defending that performance really. Now I don't want to focus on him because yes, he, he did get sent off early, but then again, there was still what a whole pretty much a half left and another whole half left. So. It wasn't just down to him, it was down to the rest of the players. Defence, oh my God, everyone said it. God, how bad we were. And um, it sort of sets the time for the rest of the season, doesn't it, really? 2018 has not been good. Now, at the start of the season and following on from the end of... No, sorry, the start of the year, should I say. Following on from the end of 2017, we hadn't conceded. Uh, we, we didn't score, which wasn't good, but we hadn't conceded. We, I'd like to think that was a positive thing. But now we seem to be shipping goals left, right and centre. Uh, same defence, pretty much. Same defence. And, you know, I think the reason why we've been shipping all these goals is because Conte may have lost the players. And I hate to say it, but I think it's this... Fucking hell, chap. I f well, honestly... <laughs> well, honestly, no, right? I, I agree with you. That's why I, I wasn't going to say it, but... Yeah. But, but, but there's... If you was if you were back, it, look, look, just look at Mourinho when he was here in his second spell. It's a classic example. The season where we won the league, brilliant, brilliant. Mostly the same team. And the season after that, had a lot of the same players. And what happened? I didn't play for him, and he went. And the same story's going to happen again. Now, I've said it before. I said it. I said it at Bournemouth actually. If he walks, all power to him. Yeah, don't blame him. Just. Do it for your own sanity, mate. I don't want you to go, but if you do, good luck to you. If you go back to Italy, if you manage Italy, just have the time of your life there. Because I think that we, it's he hasn't been treated right here. He no, hasn't been treated no, no, right. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. And uh, it's a lot of failings. And I, what I find quite hard to understand is Roman has probably has quite a big say, but I think most of the say comes from the secondary part of the board, i.e., the people underneath. Roman and I think those are the ones who just aren't giving him the support and uh, Roman obviously had a say in appointing him and I think Roman appointed him for a reason clearly a reason because we won the league from it and it's just it's, it's really hard now I was talking to someone next to me who was a, a, a long time Chelsea fan right he's been going a lot and it's the same I have this conversation with my dad a lot but there seems to be a generation gap right a lot of the older fans like to think that because we were so poor, we've got to take a lot of this for granted. And I'm kind of in that situation, but for me, I'm, I'm mostly, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, but w this is the sort of place we're in now. We should be winning those games, right? I completely accept, uh, like, all, all of this success is yeah. unbelievable from where we've come from. From when the club was, you know, almost bankrupt and almost ruined. We're in a fantastic position, but now we've earned the right to be winning the Champions League, winning Premier Leagues, winning fucking FA Cups and all that sort of, all that, all that. You know, and it's, it's to lose, to, come on, man. No, no, it's it's lose, but, like, I understand what you're saying, know. but it's not a, a God-given right that we deserve to win those trophies. I, I, I agree with what you're saying. I agree but, that it's in a fantastic position, but what, what's important to me is that the players give everything. No, no, I completely agree with that, right? If we put in... If we put in 150%, right, every game we didn't win a trophy, I'd be like, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. I mean, we might not have had the best season, but at least we try. At least we put our fucking hearts into it. Yeah? 
but stuff like that, honestly, how can you defend that? Like, if I'm not if defending I, it, exactly, exactly. Like right, you can't. If I, Hazard was, I know he wasn't amazing, but he just showed the, the little quality, the little quality that we have in our team, right? And that's if if we didn't have in that team, we would have we, we, we wouldn't have scored, obviously. But looking back on other games, we probably would have lost even more goals because the attacking intent as well. Like it's, it's it's hard for me to describe, right? But when Hazard brings the ball forward, most of their team have got to get back, and also they can't. A team when they go on the counter, they can't always go and they can't always score. So the Hazard does help to push the team forward, and then that sort of helps to you know, to, to potentially to a goal and this and the other. But I mean that that's obviously a, a, a totally different scenario. Like get, getting back to the game, I think. It's just like that, yeah, you know, four, four goals, right? Se- seven goals in two games. Seven goals in two games. The team has just won the league, you know. Uh, it, I, I don't really want to say anymore because I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep rolling myself up. But we know that I want the performance that we needed, and we have got West Brom next week, next Monday. They, they've got easily, they've got a chance of beating us. I'm worried. I'm not confident. You know what I mean? So. That, that's all I'm going to say, right? I'm, I'm still going to support my team to the final fucking minute, right? I'm going to stay in that ground. I ain't going to fucking leave. I ain't, don't matter what game it is, don't matter what the fucking score is, I'll stay, right? I'll stay in charge on that team because we fucking deserve to ch- stay in charge on that team. What they've given us over these fucking years, they deserve. I know the shit the tonight, the shit the past few weeks. We fucking are Chelsea. We'll be back. We'll fucking be back. I'll tell you that. <laughs>